All right, here we have an EXL 8000 Generac generator. Uh, the customer got hit by Hurricane Sandy, lost power, so he dragged it out, plugged it in, started it up, went inside to find out there's no electricity. So we're gonna determine why it's not putting out electricity, whether it's your automatic voltage regulator, also known as the AVR, or whether it's the actual part that generates electricity. All right, next we're gonna move that black cover. We're gonna do that by taking a quarter inch ratchet, uh, extension, and a seven millimeter socket. We're going to remove these four screws around the outer cover here to gain access. Once you remove those four screws, you want to wiggle this grommet out so you can totally remove the cover and get it out of the way. Set it aside. Alright, this is what it should look like once you remove the cover. Here's your automatic voltage regulator, also known as the AVR, up here on top. Uh, the older ones, you might see a black tube right here. That's an inline booster. The older models had it. They discontinued it with the new style. That's why this one is already gone. Uh, we're going to remove these two leads off our AVR. We're going to bend them out of the way. That way we can test them later. All right, with those two leads bent out of the way so we can test them nice and easily, we're gonna follow the red and black, going to our brush set from our AVR. We're gonna remove those. Keep in mind that the red is closest to the bearing. So we're gonna remove both of those. We're gonna grab some electrical tape. We're gonna tape those up. That way they can't touch each other or touch the housing. All right, we taped up the two leads coming from our AVR going to our brush set. We taped them up so they can't touch each other and they can't touch the housing. After that, you're gonna need a 12 volt power source, DC. So whether you want to use a car battery or a compact drill battery, we're also going to need a set of insulated alligator clips. All right, next we'll take our alligator clips. We'll hook them up to that brush set we just removed the other leads from. I'm going to use black as negative, red as positive, as it was on the brush set originally. So we're going to slide them onto there. Negative in the back, positive in the front, close to the bearing. All right, with our alligator clips hooked to our brush set, we're going to hook the positive side up to our 12 volt power supply. We're not going to hook the negative up just yet. All right, next we'll start the generator. We'll let it stabilize at a running speed for like five or six seconds. After that, we'll take that negative out of the alligator clip going to our brush set. We'll hook it to the negative of our battery. All right, with that alligator clip hooked to the negative of our battery, we're going to take our test meter, set it to VAC. We're going to test these two wires here coming from our exciting winding, the ones that used to go to the left side of our AVR. We want to make sure we have a minimum of 60 volts. If we do, the automatic voltage regulator, AVR, is bad and you want to replace that. If you don't, the part that probably generates the electricity on the generator is bad. You might want to think about taking that in for service or purchasing a new generator.